What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I am so excited to say Peyton Warmeyer is joining me, and it has been a while. Peyton, I'm so happy you're joining me. Thank you for your time today. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to be here. It's been a while. It's been, it's been a while. It has been a while. Like I was saying off camera, you have grown up so much. So I'm like, this is so crazy. It's been a few years. Yeah, yeah, two or three, I think. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about that. So you've been working on music in that time. Tell me about those those years of kind of building back up and now you're here with a new single. Yeah, um, it's it's been fun just living life. Um, I, I kind of like stepped back a little bit, focused more on the music. Um, it was kind of it was kind of hard for me to like get a certain sound I wanted or like uh, experiment in like the place I was in because uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just got so locked into like a work path that it was really hard for me to branch out. So like I just took time. I, I came back home and like. Uh, focused more on like what I wanted to hear and you know things that like I appreciated and stuff like that and um, yeah. you know when I'm not making music like what am I actually passionate about and stuff like that and like what do I actually care about and um, yeah I just took a lot more control over my life if that makes sense you know absolutely and you know your your new single control finally out now three years in the making, which is what you recently posted on your Instagram. So, you know, your fans have been so loyal to you and this release comes, you know, you had your debut EP album come out almost more than a year ago, Insomnia. So with self-reflection, building yourself, finding that voice, finding, you know, what direction, because last time we talked, I remember you were trying out so many different things in your music, what sound you wanted and experimenting and, we're so young in this life, we should do that. So the fact that you acknowledge that, took that time to step back and like you said, take control, that's a really like, I, I really, I look at you and I wanna be like, congratulations on just that. Like acknowledging that and finding that, look at how happy you are. It makes me so happy. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, so it's cool. always, you know, cause like, uh, even like stepping back, like taking time off social media, like I made it like a, a mission almost to not like involve everything in my life yeah. in social media for so long, but it's like nerve wracking because like a lot of people just, I'm, I'm not there for a day and they like disappear, you know? So like it nerve wracking to come back to support after that, you know? Yeah, so now with control L, how has it been with your fans? I mean, I was reading some of the comments. Everyone that I'm seeing is so happy you're back, that you're finding yourself, your music. So tell me about, you know, how your fans have been reacting to Control. Um, I think everybody's just thankful that it finally came out because I had it like ready for a while and I kind of started teasing it on social media that it was coming out and I never really had a date. So it was kind of hard because like, They've, they've wanted that song, they've anticipated this release for so long since I first made it and teased it. Um, so I think like relief that it's out um, from everybody because <laughs> I feel like they're starting to feel like it was never coming out and uh, it's just been like love. Like uh, everybody's really um, like passionate about the song and, the, and, the, and they love it more than I thought they would. I made like last minute changes in the song before it released. It was really nerve wracking because like Everybody, I knew people loved the song, but I didn't know like if I was gonna change something that was gonna mess it up or what. So I'm just glad that everybody loves it, you know? So tell me about Control for the fans and viewers that maybe haven't listened yet. Tell me about, you know, one, the sound that we're gonna be hearing from Peyton Moormeyer on this, finding your own voice, your twang. Tell me about this and tell me about the background of Control. Yeah, Control, um, so I made it three years ago, like first recorded it, um, and I took a trip to Atlanta, and I like recently was out of like this relationship that was pretty controlling at the time, I just kind of didn't realize it. Um, and, you know, it was kind of just a song, like kind of what I just explained, like uh, kind of getting back control of my life and um, figuring out like what I liked about things and, self-reflection on that 
relationship. Um, but yeah, I first recorded it like three years ago and I sat with it for like a while, went through a couple different versions of it. And then it was kind of like Rich Boy, how everybody just kept the song in their minds. And like, no matter what I would tease or what I would release, everyone would always come back in the comments and be like, Control, we want to hear it. We love that song. And uh, so yeah, I finally got it released, which is so great. I think this song's so cool because like you said, one, you know, when you took inspiration from this this relationship you were in, kind of taking control of that, but people that aren't coming out of a relationship can kind of relate to this song just in the aspect of how you're saying you're taking control of your own life and in terms of your career. So I think this song is so relatable in terms of so many aspects for people. You know what I mean? Do you see that too? I do, yeah. There's like a there's a lot of people in life that micromanage and like down to like a, a relationship with your parents or friendships or anything like you know there's always like those people that that need to like take control of the situation or has to be their way in, in any sense so it's like uh, I feel like you can apply it to a, a, a bunch of different things you know absolutely so control is the theme of the conversation today but I want to talk a little bit about your fans. I mean, you posted on your Instagram story, thank you for never giving up on me. You're all I have. So, you know, Peyton, when you step back for, for a bit and you see, you know, you, you reflect on yourself, you work on yourself, you work on your music, coming back, like we're saying, you know, it's kind of a scary thing, but do you kind of, are you more, grateful for your fans now when you've kind of taken and you see that the love and support is there tell me a little bit about that yeah um i feel like everything like like i said you can get in a pattern of of moving so fast with just work yeah. stuff that i didn't appreciate like the little things as much and, and just like the fans constantly coming back and, and messaging me every day or mm -hmm. or the relationships they have between themselves like um, there's a lot of things I realized I should have like done better during that time and like um, you know just I put myself in their shoes and it's just like uh, you know if, I, if this was someone that I really cared about like my favorite artist or, or something like that there's always these things that would just make me feel so like special and it, it takes like a little bit of time so yeah trying to be more involved and and the fact that everyone stayed with it this long and there's been so many people who have been so patient it's like you know they deserve everything and um i'm glad that like i, I i've been paying more attention to it you know your fans are ecstatic i'm ecstatic you are back your music sounds so good i am obsessed with control what's next what else do you have any more songs are we going on tour do we have anything planned or baby steps yeah a little bit of both um <laughs> Hey, I were planned and then it kind of like uh you know the people we were doing the tour with things happen and right. stuff falls but um yeah shows are like the biggest thing whether it's like a, a one-off show I'm playing something for December probably right now um but the music's the big thing I, I have so many songs and, and like control is like the just dipping the toes in the water uh to get the reaction kind of get everybody awake again and there's so much stuff that's just been going on and I've had so much time to write and and, and make stuff. So I, I think this next phase of music is, is gonna be so different. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to just share everything I've been working on because it's, it's a lot more uh, me, you know? And I'm a lot more proud of it because I've, I've been involved with a lot more of the process, so. A new chapter of Peyton Wormeyer. Now I'm here for it, but you know, I was reading some of your comments are we going to get a music video for Control? What's coming for there? Um, I don't know right now. If we do, it'll be it'll be later. Um, probably in like a month or two, I would say. Because uh, like I said, we have a bunch of things that are on the back burner right now. So maybe music videos for those. Yeah. Kind of like we're trying to decide where to put the attention right now, I guess. Um, but maybe like little visuals, probably a lyric video for sure. Um, I'm just getting stuff filmed right now, but big production, maybe, maybe in the future, I don't know though right now. 
Okay, all right. That being said, we all have to stay tuned. Peyton, it's so good to see your face. It's so good to see your smile, and I'm so happy you are back. So thank you for your time again. Of course, thank you for talking. Of course, everyone at home, make sure you guys are going to show Peyton Mormeyer some love. Go stream, control, go give him a follow, and stay tuned because there is a lot more from Peyton. We are going to be seeing you guys. And thank you so much. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to us down below. Thank you so much, Peyton. Thank you so much. Of course.